In Horry County, Conway Medical Center is the only facility that offers endoscopic ultrasound, or EUS. It allows Dr. Megan Malone to use a tiny camera and an ultrasound inside the body to evaluate problems and perform biopsies. Endoscopic ultrasound is a type of imaging modality that uses the GI tract as, um, as a route for getting the pictures um, that are a little more um, sophisticated or sensitive um, than some uh, radiology forms of imaging. So if I was going to do an ultrasound in the radiology department, I would have to, um, you know, they use the transducer over your abdomen. I have to go through skin and bone and um, in order to get to the organs of interest. And frequently you can't see the pancreas because there's a big uh, gas bubble in the stomach. So with the endoscopic ultrasound, I can put the camera in someone's mouth, go down into their GI tract, and then I can see um, very well the organ itself and whether there needs to be biopsies taken, whether there's any abnormal lymph nodes, you can evaluate the liver, um, all of the mediastinal structures, so the esophagus, um, the path to the lungs, the trachea, and then um, the area around the aorta, which is the big blood vessel that feeds through the heart. This is a basic endoscopic ultrasound. Um, it looks like the kind of scope you would perform colonoscopies or upper endoscopies on, but it has an ultrasound at the tip of it um, with a little balloon, and you blow up air over um, the balloon itself, and you're able to use that air as a transducer to see the organs. So why would a patient need EUS? This procedure is usually done in people that have already had another form of imaging that's abnormal. So your doctor, whether it's uh, an actual cancer doctor already or your primary, has done some sort of workup and identified a problem. And they send you for this test in order to get usually tissue. Um, it's a uh, minimally invasive way to get an answer to a problem that's already been identified on a scan. So um, I'm able to get biopsies from um, the pancreas or the bile duct um, outside the wall of the esophagus near the aorta um, or lymph nodes around the lungs without a patient requiring surgery to have that done. And a lot of times, so I said earlier that most of the patients have abnormal scans when they come. It's not, unfortunately, too uncommon that their symptoms suggest a problem, but the scan hasn't shown it yet because the ultrasound is really sensitive for finding problems that are smaller than, you know, two centimeters. And sometimes our, our CTs aren't able to pick those up. What can a patient expect from an EUS procedure? Patients are asleep, um, anesthesia is there providing the sedation, completely comfortable. Usually takes 45 minutes to an hour. If there's um, an area that's identified that's abnormal, I can sample it, um, put a little needle through the scope into the organ of interest and um, then pathology comes in the room and looks at the slides and is able to give me an idea of whether we need more specimen and um, what the diagnosis is. They're able to go home later that day. The risks are very few. Uh, it's very important because the, most of them are starting on a journey that's going to take years in terms of treatment, surgeries down the road and recovery, and having this be available and um, take just you know a few hours of their day is very helpful. How is an EUS procedure performed? Most of the ultrasounds I do are through the mouth. So the scope goes in, um, the esophagus enters the stomach and then around uh, into the small intestine, this first part called the duodenum. And you can see the pancreas lies just behind the stomach. This is a, a smaller picture, but if you imagine the, the stomach being gone, this is what you'd see. Uh, there's another little diagram right here. So the pancreas is an organ that lies just behind the stomach, and within the stomach, using the ultrasound probe, you can actually get really good definition of the organ and everything that surrounds it. So that includes the area of the gallbladder, underneath the liver, any lymph nodes that would be present there related to spread of a cancer can be sampled through the ultrasound scope um, using EUS. 